Hello and welcome to the Symantec IT Management Suite Technical Overview Series. This video presentation will provide a technical overview of the device-based software tracking features found in Symantec IT Management Suite. You can edit the license rule while creating a software license or by editing an existing software license resource. Every license rule provides a set of configurable parameters to help calculate the license consumption. The license rule can be created or edited by selecting the link under the license type in the Software Product Summary view of a software product, then editing the specific license you want to modify. Once you are in the Edit Software License page, you can select the License Rule link to edit or create the rule. The per device license rule specifies the devices that should be calculated within a software license. Use this option if your licenses are consumed by the number of installations. In this case, one installation would consume one license. Another configurable parameter for the per device based license type is the authorized device filter. You can use the click to select option to open the select tree item dialog box for selecting an existing or customized device filter. You should note that all installations on the devices that are not included in the defined filter are considered as unauthorized. If a filter is not selected, then all the installations are considered authorized. In this demonstration, we will cover the device-based license tracking abilities. We will be tracking Adobe Acrobat 10 Professional. We have noted that it has been installed on three computers. We've also detected use on two out of the three computers detected. We've also purchased five device-based licenses for the computers. And in the end, we need to see the current state of the license. We will start by going to the software products located in the ITMS management views. In this case, we've defined a series of filters that show the corporate applications. In this scenario, we are going to concentrate on Adobe Acrobat 10 Professional. You will notice that the status of this product is action required. It's indicating that the product is licensable but no licenses have been defined. This just indicates that we did not enter any licenses or purchases for this software product. This shows that we have not set up application metering for this product. This can be remedied by going to the Usage Tracking section and clicking the link. This then opens the software product. Under the Metering Track Usage tab, we will find the metering information. In order for an application to be tracked for metering and usage, we must associate it with a program or executable. This will bring up a software inventory list of available programs in inventory. In this case, the executable is called Acrobat.exe. By entering the name in the search field, it will bring up all versions of Acrobat or anything that contains the search criteria. By simply selecting it and bringing it over to the associated programs, this will create the association between the product and the executable. You will also notice that the Turn On Metering box has been automatically selected due to this association. We've also indicated that we would like it to track license usage if it's been used within the last 90 days. We will save our changes. You will now notice that the software usage is indicated in the graph. This indicates that there is no tracking data for one of the three computers that have it installed. It also indicates that two out of the three computers have used this software within the last 90 days. It also indicates that no licenses are unused. This is reflected also in the graph. By selecting no tracking data on the graph, it'll change the values under the computers with software installed view. This indicates that Win 10-1 has no tracking data for this application. This also could indicate that there is a problem with the application metering plugin and should be investigated. This could also indicate that this machine has been off for more than 90 days. Clicking the Use section of the graph will indicate the machines in which it was used in the last 90 days. 
This will be indicated in the software usage column. We will now enter the license information by going to the license type link and pressing click to add license. You'll notice that there is a checkbox that indicates that this is now a licensable product. Pressing the add license button will allow you to create new licenses and purchases within this software product. You will notice that the name is automatically entered in the software license. We can enter our start date and expiry dates of this license contract and enter a comment if required. You'll also notice that the initial purchase has been entered in the purchases area. You will notice that the name of the purchase is automatically entered with a suffix of purchase and a number at the end. You can then enter the purchase date, the quantity, in this case will be five, and the cost. You also have the choice of the accounting code, which will indicate an expense or purchase cost. You can also enter a description. You'll also notice at the bottom of this page that the total purchase licenses and the cost of the purchases are entered. The license rule that's applied at this time is per device by default. And notice at the bottom of the product screen, it shows the total cost and the total valid licenses. It will also indicate the average cost of a valid license. We will now save the changes, and you'll immediately notice that the software product summary has changed. It will now indicate the license utilization summary by showing that there are two underutilized licenses, three utilized, and zero overutilized. You'll also notice that the status of this software product has changed to needs attention. It's indicating that two licenses are underutilized and that there are potential savings. Looking at the license utilization graph, we notice that two licenses are underutilized and three licenses are utilized. We will also notice that two of the licenses are used. This indicates that there's application metering data that has been returned within the last 90 days. By pressing this part of the graph, you will see that the computers with software installed view has changed to two computers. By pressing the no tracking data segment, you will also see that Win 10-1, the machine with no usage data, is shown. It will also indicate that there is two licenses available. This is based on an active license count of 5, subtracted by the used amount of licenses. By pressing the Filter by Usage button, you can filter the results based on utilization and software usage. In this scenario, we will demonstrate the device-based license tracking using a device filter. We will be tracking Adobe Acrobat 10 Professional. It's been noted that it's been installed on three computers. We have detected usage on two out of the three computers. We have purchased and entered five device licenses. In this scenario, we will define authorized devices. In this case, Win 7-1 and Win 8-1 are assigned in the filter. And we would need to see the resultant or current state. In this scenario, we will go to the license type link and change the license information. Pressing the pencil icon to edit the license, we will now enter a rule. We'll give it a name that is similar to the software product name. It's also a good practice to put an indicator in showing what type of license it is. We will now add a device filter. In our case, it is a filter that is a list of devices that are authorized to use this software. We have chosen the authorized Adobe Acrobat 10 Professional Devices filter. As you can see, this filter contains only two computers, Win 7-1 and Win 8-1. Now that we've applied this filter to the license rule, it will only consider those two computers authorized for use of this program. This box will appear if there's significant changes to the license rule. The first thing you'll notice is there is a clear distinction to what computers are authorized and unauthorized. 
We can see that two computers have used this software. You'll also notice that one of the computers is unauthorized. By selecting this, we'll change the computers with software installed view. This indicates Win 10 1 is unauthorized because it was not part of the filter. And you'll also notice that this software product status has changed. In this case is changed to Action Required. It is indicating that one of the licenses are overutilized, as well as three licenses are underutilized. The license utilization graph shows that there are two licenses that are being utilized. This would indicate the Win 7 1 and Win 8 1 devices. These are members of the filter and therefore automatically are authorized for usage. You'll also notice that one is overutilized. In this case, Win 10 1 was not authorized for use through the filter. And in the case of underutilized, the total is 3. This total is based on the number of active licenses subtracted from the utilized licenses. In this demonstration, we will show device based license tracking with a site filter. In this case, we would emulate a site based license. We will be tracking Adobe Acrobat 10 Professional. We've noted that it's been installed on three computers. Usage has been detected on two out of the three computers. We have purchased five licenses that are based on a site entitlement. We will define authorized sites, in this case the Atlanta location only. And we would like to see the current state. In this scenario, we will start by editing the license through the license type link. By pressing the edit icon, we can go into the license itself. In this scenario, we want to indicate a device filter that is based on members of a specific site. This is a great example of what a site type license might look like. Because it's site based, we will change the title to authorized list of sites. The filter we're selecting consists of devices that are within a specified site within our organization. In this case, the Atlanta site is chosen. We will save the changes. And we'll return to our filters to indicate which computers are in the Atlanta site. In this case here, the Win 10 1 and Win 8 1 computers are in the Atlanta site. Returning to the license, we will save the changes. The first thing you'll notice is that clearly the Win 7 1 computer is now unauthorized. The Win 10 1 computer is still indicated as no tracking data. It shows Win 8 1 as used simply because it's returning usage data from the application metering plugin. Win 7 1 is clearly unauthorized because it is not a member of the Atlanta filter. This is regardless of whether there's software usage or not. The administrator would like to uninstall this software from any computer that is unauthorized to run it. This software product summary view allows us to create filters or reports that can be used for policy and task automation. By selecting the Save as a Filter button, this allows us to create a filter for use in policies or tasks. We can simply give it a name and save it to a specific filter folder within the filters. We'll give it a name and we'll check the box that allows us to see the save filter in the computer's view. Now that this is saved, we can assign a function, a task, or any policy to it. By expanding the filter, we can see the query in which it was made. We can test this query and return the results. In this case, we can simply right click on the unauthorized Adobe Acrobat 10 filter and select Create Target from this filter. And this will create a new unassigned target. Since we now have a target, we can now create a new managed software delivery policy to uninstall this product. We'll provide it a name, assign the software,
change the command line from an installation command to uninstallation command. We can now select our newly created resource target. Schedule the uninstallation. and save the changes. Now that this policy is active, the next time the Win 7-1 computer turns on or logs in, it will have an uninstallation policy sent to it, and the product will immediately be removed. Returning to the results of the software product summary for Adobe Acrobat 10, we can see that we have a list of computers that has the software installed. There's been a request to show all unauthorized usage of this software product. You have the ability to export these results as a report by simply pressing the Save as Report icon. In this case, we would give it a name, allow it to open the report view in a new window after you save it, and the report will appear it indicates that Win7-1 is unauthorized and is in the list. It also shows some items such as the software product name, the user that is using it, the license status, and the usage status. This report can now be used for things like automation policies to produce reports that could eventually email somebody. By pressing the Edit button, you can clearly edit the SQL query that was created based on these results. If you would like to know more about IT Management Suite, please visit the following links.